Welcome to Bethlehem Institute of Engineering. Bethlehem Institute of Engineering is affiliated to Anna University Chennai and approved by AICT, New Delhi. This institution was established in the year 2008. Good afternoon. Today we are going to discuss about types of electrodes. What is electrodes? Electrodes are used to pick up the electrical signals of the body. Okay. The electrode pair plays the role of transducer that is which converts ionic current to electrical current. Okay. Then we are going to the types of electrode. What is types of electrode? What are the types of electrode? There are three types of electrode. Micro electrode, surface electrode, needle and depth electrode. In the micro electrode, it is of two types, metal electrode, also called as metallic electrode. Second one, micro pipette electrode, it is also called as non-metallic electrode. Then the next one, surface electrode. In this surface electrode, metal plate electrode, metal disc electrode, disposable form pad electrode or adhesive tape electrode. Then suction cup electrode, multi-point electrode floating electrode, ear clip and scalp electrode and the next last one is needle and depth electrode. Okay. What is micro electrode? The micro electrodes are used to measure the bioelectric potential near or within a single cell. It is also called as intracellular electrodes this micro electrodes is divided into metallic and non-metallic electrodes the micro electrodes have shown small diameter during the insertion of the electrode into the cell it will not cause any damage to our cell during the measure measurement the poten during the potential measurement, the micro electrode is placed within the cell and the reference electrode is placed outside the cell. Okay. First one, metal micro electrode, also called as metallic electrode. Metal micro electrodes are formed by electrolytically etching the tip of the fine tungsten or stainless steel wire to a fine point. This technique is called as electropointing. The metal micro electrodes are coated almost to the micro tip with an insulating material. So to reduce the impedance some electrolytic processing called Chloriding the tip will take place. This is the equivalent circuit of the metal micro electrode. So the impedance of the metal micro electrode is inversely proportional to the area of the tip and frequency. Next one, micro pipette electrode. The, it is a non-metallic electrode which consists of a glass micro pipette whose tip diameter is about 1 micrometer. The micro pipette is filled with an electrolyte usually 3 milli of potassium chloride which is compatible with cellular flow fluid. A thin flexible wire from chloride silver, stainless steel or tungsten is inserted into the stem of the micro pipette. The friction between the wire and the stem of the micro pipette 
and the fluid surface tension hold the micro pipette on this wire. The other end of the metal wire is mounted to the rigid support and the other end to the resting is resting on the cell. This is the equivalent circuit of micro pipette electrode. Next one, surface electrode. Surface electrodes are placed on the surface of the skin in order to bioelectric potential. That is, it is a smaller device that is attached to the skin to measure the electrical activity in the tissue under it. It measures the potential available from the surface of the skin. That is, it sends the skin from heart, brain and nerves. Large surface electrode sends the ECG signal and the smaller surface electrode sends EMG and EEG signals. What is EMG signal? Electromyogram and what is EEG signal? That is electroencephalogram. The, the first one is metal plate electrode. It is a type of surface electrode. It is used for the ECG measurement techniques. Generally, German silver, nickel silver or nickel plated steel are used as surface electrodes. The surf, so, the surface, that is this surface is covered with the electrolytic paste. That is, these electrodes are applied on the skin with electrode paste. The main disadvantage is, is the slippage of the electrode and the plate displacement. Normally, we use this electrode to measure the ECG measurement. So, under this plate, we will put some electrolytic paste and place this on the area where we want to measure the voltage or potential okay these comes under the metal plate electrode so this is the contact surface and this also this is um, there will be a rubber belt for the support next one metal disc electrode it is applied with a surgical tap. It is also called as metal electrode. That is, this is the circular plated electrode. Okay. So, this lead wire welds to the back surface. This lead wire is connected to the back surface of this electrode. And this is also coated with the electrolyte gel. So, normally, silver chloride is used as the electrolyte. It is popular for recording EMG or EEG. And the cost is very low comparing to others. Next one, disposable foam pad electrode. So the pressure of electrode against the skin skews out the electrode paste. So when we, in, in the previous electrodes, when we place it on the skin, there will be some electrode paste, right? So, this electrode paste will skew us out. So, in order to avoid that, we are using this disposable foam pad electrode. It is also called as adhesive tape electrode. It has a lightweight metallic screen. They have a pad at behind for placing the electrode paste. That is, to paste this electrode, there is a place under this electrode. Okay. So, this adhesive backing holds the electrode on a on place and tight. So, this adhesive backing technology holds the electrode on its place and it's held tight. Okay. It helps to avoid evaporation of electrolyte present in the electrode place. This comes under this disposable foam pad electrode. Next one, suction cup electrode. Okay. 
It is also called as Welsh cup electrode. It is normally used to measure the ECG. Okay. That is, it is well suited for attachment to flat surface of the body and placed when the underlying tissues is soft. That is, it is placed where the region have soft tissues. Okay. They have a good contact surface. Physically, they are large size, but the skin contact, the skin is in contact with this rim point. Okay, so it has high contact impedance. They have a plastic syringe parallel suction tube and uh, cables. That is, it consists of a plastic syringe barrel suction tube and cables. Due to this. Uh, due to the various procedures of cleaning uh, that is uh, there are many infections uh, from this so due to the infection and cleaning procedures it is not using now this comes under this suction cup suction cup electrode next one multi point electrode what is multi point electrode it is also used for the ECG measurement. It have more than 1000 active points for the generation of the signal. Okay. It has more than 1000 active contact points to contact with the biopotential generation. It helps to establish low resistance contact with the human so this can be used under any environmental condition this electrode is used without removing the hair in the place of picking up the biopotential so the next one floating electrode In this electrode, the metal does not contact the sub, uh, contact the object directly. Okay, the contact is just made through an electrolyte bridge. By using this function moment, the artifact is eliminated. This is also called as liquid junction electrode. Okay, that is, it have no direct contact with the human body. The con uh, that is they contact the subject via an electrolyte paste or jelly that uh, has a mechanical stability that is the main advantage of this type of electrodes here when you see this the uh, this is the metal disc and this is the electrodes so there is no direct contact with the surface of our skin Next one, ear clip or scalp electrode. In the measurement of, it is mainly used in the measurement of electroencephalogram. What is the use of electroencephalogram? It is used to measure the brain signal. Okay. So, this is mainly used for the brain signal measurement. So, this scalp electrode provides the signals easily when placed on bare head. Okay. So, uh, in this um, brain signal measurement, in the next chapter, we are going to study about the 10 to 20 electrode system of ECG measurement. So, in that, these electrodes are using. This types, this types of electrodes avoids the measurement error. Also, it is used to measure, used to measure, measure the heartbeat of the baby when baby is inside the uterus. That is the fetal scap electrode. That is this uh, during this uh, labor, the fetal scap electrode monitors the baby heartbeat while still inside the uterus. So these all comes under the surface electrode. Next needle and depth electrode what is needle and depth electrodes the needle electrode is a fine wire through which the electrical current may flow when attached to a power source used to carry high 
frequency electrical signal that is the needle electrodes it is used to measure used to measure the peri or record the peripheral nerves action potential it resembles a medicine dropper or hypodermic needle this depth electrodes are used to study the electrical activity of neurons in in superficial large neurons in the brain okay that is this depth electrons are for monitoring or mapping the sub surface level of the brain for the surgical treatment of epilepsy that is this is uh, placed inside the head that is inside um, brain okay for the measurements only uh, during the operation or something like that okay when the electrode get closer to the bioelectrical generated it penetrates into the skin so the electrode should be sharp for penetration to obtain and record the bioelectric event under the first one is depth electrode the figure shows the depth electrode so it studies the electrical activity of the neurons in the surface of the brain it consists of a bundle of teflon insulated platinum and iridium alloy wires okay normally the platinum that is it consists of 90% of platinum and 10% of iridium alloy wires it is bounded to the central supporting stainless steel wire which can act as an indifferent electrode by an insulating vanish the number of individual host so the number of individual electrode forms the electrode array or bundle each of the integer wires has integer so when you see the figure there are here there are eight numbers so each integer wire has integer that is each wire has each electrode so the main application of this depth electrode is to inject medicines into the brain and also used to measure the oxygen tension that is this is mainly used in the brain surgery okay the now last one is needle electrode okay it is used to record the peripheral nerve action potential it acts like a syringe okay a short length of fine insulated metal wire is bent at its one end the bent portion is inserted through the lumen of the needle and is advanced to the muscle the needle is withdrawn and the bent wire is pressing inside the muscle this setup goes into the muscle now the needle is withdrawn and the bent wire remains inside the muscles okay so after inserting the bent wire will uh, remains inside the muscle and the remaining we will take off that is the needle we will take off it is mainly used for the ecg sorry em eeg and emg signal measurement so there are two types of needle electrodes that is monopolar electrode and bipolar electrode this is monopolar electrode means that is it consists of only one reference electrode and this bipolar electrode means it consists of reference electrode and main electrode so these all comes under the needle electrode so i think you all understand the types of electrodes thank you